Well, it is a, a tall order, but I'm going to try to fulfill it here. Um, I just emailed Abby a few hours ago. She feels very sorry not to be here with you. So as one of her biggest fans, I'm here to represent to you what I think is really somebody who is a change maker. Since I first met Abby uh, about five years ago, when Pray the Devil Back to Hell came out, I realized that she was really blazing a new genre of movies. Like she says it so well, we all grew up thinking that war was the kind of thing that happened through John Wayne's pith helmet, right? That is war. But what she's doing and her colleagues are really bringing a new lens of understanding about war and peace through the eyes of women. And now my question is, why is this so important? It's important because gender-based violence cuts across all areas of life ethnicity, race, class, religion, education, international borders. We think about one in three women worldwide has faced beatings, coerced into sex, or otherwise abused in her lifetime. And we know that 30 million girls, think about it, 30 million of primary age are out of school or will never, ever get into a classroom. And when it comes to what is called child marriages, although there's nothing childlike about these marriages, 2.9 million girls by the age or before 15 are married in sub-Saharan Africa or South and Western Africa. We know that too many parts of the world challenges face women and girls when they seek equal access. And a lot of the innovation of the 21st century, really the challenge in front of us, is to change this story around. And you all, as entrepreneurs and media together, has a really tremendous power to bring to this pivot point, if you will power to change minds, attitudes, and open doors and reframe ideas about how to do it. You are on that front line, and it's, us, it's so exciting to be a part of your work today. And I love this about SDG 17, making partnerships work, because when you bring an idea and a technology together, the world changes, and even more so, gender relations change. And I don't know if you're a fan of Downton Abbey, of course I am, but we can see in that six years of an amazing kind of documentary that technology opened up roles for women that nothing else could besides war, ironically. We know that war also changes gender roles Often, though, there's a regression. Technology can move us forward. So I wanted to just very briefly tell you a couple of good news stories on the Women and Girls Lead Global Partnership, which is with USAID, the Ford Foundation, and the Independent Television Service in collaboration with CARE. So Women and Girls Lead Global combines the power of documentary film, like you just saw, national television broadcasts, local and new media, and engagement activities to impact audiences, to get them involved. Uh, they come, for example, the Women, uh, War, and Peace uh, series came with a discussion group guide. Uh, these are the things that bring collaboration and partnership from the grassroots to the international level. This partnership is reaching out to eight different countries to promote gender equality and women's empowerment through a documentary film series. So what kind of results are they having? Well, in Bangladesh, 
where the objective uh, of the Best School for Girls initiative was about keeping girls in school and out of child marriages. Since the campaign began, child marriage rates in partner schools have fallen 20%. That's a lot. And girls' dropout rates in partner schools have fallen up to 60%. And you know what we understand about these rates? It's just not the girls and the women are changing, but the men and boys. Because as men understand that women and girls' empowerment can really actually help empower the family, their ideas also change. We also have seen it in Kenya where the objective was to increase women's civic participation and cultivating women leaders for the 2017 election. And of course, to increase positive media coverage of women leaders. There, in the Women in Red initiative, a radio series is reaching about a million listeners. In television broadcasts, they've reached 2.7 million television viewers, and civic participation has increased 27%. So by partnering with filmmakers like Abby Disney, USAID is striving to show how media, and especially storytelling, can help change minds and hearts of men and women, girls and boys, in all corners of the world. And we know that this kind of prog progress is being seen because we can feel it and we notice that things are getting better, even though we have a long way to go. So on this, the eve of International Women's Day, I ask you to consider, as you design your innovative project, to have a gendered lens. Consider gender equity opportunities in your partnerships. And as you look to design that next chapter of your work in the field, re remember that women and girls are provided, who are provided with equal opportunities for education, healthcare, economic empowerment. Everyone is the winner. Everyone has the opportunity to make a difference. Gender equality is now number five of the Sustainable Development Goals. That means it's everyone's responsibility in order for us all to move ahead. It is that both women and men must accept this new idea and embrace the challenges that come with it. And to end, I'd like to quote Malala Yousafzai, who is the, nine, uh, the 2014 Nobel Peace Prize winner. We cannot all succeed when half of us are held back. So with that, I want to wish you all an International Women's Day in light of either your mother, your sister, your wife, or yourselves. Thank you very much. And have a good evening.